So hello, and welcome to Lizard the Painful. This is the definitive edition that came out in 2023. And this is not a live stream. The reason for that is because I kind of felt like I streamed enough of the game and I want to start going to uh, there are other games to stream, there is other things that I, I want to focus on. But I still wanted to give a finality to the game, so um, I decided to look online to search for things that got added in the Definitive Edition. And for both the Painful and the Joyful, I know that I missed some content. Especially for the Definitive Edition. So the next two videos are going to be focused on that. I'm gonna focus the big extra boss fight on the painful and the extra new ending on the joyful. And the first idea was to do one video focusing on both at the same time, but that got a little bit long on itself. So just to make the video a little bit shorter and to organize things a little bit, it's going to be two videos. One video on the painful and one video on the joyful. And I'm pretty sure I uploaded them at the same time. So by the time you're watching this, the other one is already ready. It's already uploaded. Yeah. With that being said, let's go. These are the painful definitive edition. The big boss fights that got added. So here I'm showing that in order to trigger the boss fight, you first gonna need to be on the very ledge before the end of the game. You're gonna need the four items, uh, the, the wood, the fan, the sail, and the other thing, I forgot. And I'm literally at this point, one extra fight against Tiki and one dialogue before the final sequence. And then you're gonna need to go all the way back to the very beginning. You're gonna go to area 1, and you're gonna start backtracking towards Brad's house. You're gonna go every ledge, every mountain, every rope, every cave, until you get there. And there is going to be a resting point for you to go. Also, I'm not sure if it is necessary, but just to be sure, uh, on this save, this is the same save I used on stream. So this is a joyless run on the pain modes where I lost both my arms to Buzo during the choices. You get to the resting point, you rest in there, and if everything is okay, you're gonna trigger the events. There we go. Okay, what happens now? Snegrit. Um, find you. Oof. If. If. Uh, it is not just backwards. Also, some of the letters are. Uh, a little bit jumbled, I think. Doesn't make full of sense, but I think it's just the same tip as it was. It's just a bunch of goggly gook. Now, what is this boss? Yeah, it's pretty much a, a bunch of goggly gook. Don't mind about it. Am I alone? Oh, repeat. My bad. I'm far down the cliff. Kriab. I'm in the honey of my hand. And it hurt the rest of us. I'm not around him. I'm not around him. I'm not around him. Yeah.
I don't even try. Oh, it's a dog. It's the same dog from the very beginning. You want that almost bit tennis balls? Hi. My childhood owl. I see. Um. <laughs> One hit. Yay. Is that it? It's the dog? Just the dog. Hi. Hey, Lisa. Um, you want me to do something? Maybe. Am I getting hurt? No, I'm fine. Want me to jump? Is that it? I can jump. Ah. Oh. Wake up. Is it this way now? Nope. Can no oh. you see me? Mm, not really. No, can't see anybody. It's kind of dark, to be honest. Can you see me? Same thing. Huh. Is something crying? It is. Me? See? You? There is a child crying. Wait, the hints change as well, maybe? Oh, Brad, calm down, Brad. Am I supposed to be seeing something? Buddy. It was buddy. Stop raining. Um There is joy everywhere. Some weird Cthulhu monster playing with it. Hi. Um. Oh, actually, wasn't expecting to find something. Okay. This isn't boring at all. This is fine. 
just keep going down. Tip down the nucleus. Yeah. It's shaking now. Oh, that's a smile. Okay, that's another smile. Might just be a coincidence or not. Maybe it's. Hmm. Is sinking? Oh, what was that? Oh, it's Randall. And Buddy. Oh god! Jesus! <laughs> Get the shit out of me! <laughs> she scared me! <laughs> don't wake up. I don't... Um, getting mixed messages here. Okay, it's not this way. Um, go up. Armless hop climb. This might take a while. Nope. Some light effect thingies. And I'm not going up faster. Still the sound of a child crying. It just rang on thunder. I don't know if this is the right thing to do. I feel like I'm actually doing something stupid right now. Seeing how some par some parts of this area keeps repeating itself. There is a good chance this rope is actually repeating itself. And Brad needs joy. Of course he does. Of course you do, big guy. Just just keep on keep on climbing. You you find your joy somewhere, don't worry. This would have been faster if I had arms. Probably. I mean, Brad is using his tongue to, uh, to climb the rope. And the only reason why I'm not going down is because there is a good chance I'm gonna have to go to climb down everything that I went up on this thing. So I might as well just reload. <laughs> Hopefully, there is something. 
hopefully there is somebody. Okay, what if I go down though? Oh, didn't go up at all. Are you kidding me? Or was I not supposed to go up? Little teeth. Um. Stop. Stop. You little bitch. Um, it's a lot of flashy. Oh. Oh, it might be this way. There's a crow. I'm, I'm fighting a crow. I'm fighting the safe crow. Okay, that's new. Um, fireball? It's biting on me, what the hell? Crow of Remembrance. Scoffner Blood. One more fireball. And now I heal. I don't have a lot of healing items. I don't have any healing items. I have... Um, soup. I'm gonna die by the crow. He <laughs> went into a bush. Okay, dude. I cannot strip the crow. Well, as long as you hide behind a bush. Just keep doing that. Keep wasting your turns. Hiding behind bushes. Hi, Buzo. Bernard, not Buzo. I'm Joy. What? That wasn't me. I didn't I didn't choose that. Deep poison. Depression. Suppression does. Just lowers damage in general. But I'm joyous. Crying. Blinds. I'm gonna have to heal. Uh, wary. Just give me status. God dang it. Well, I'm a man with just a head. What? The. Diesel bomb. Got heal of my depression. Now I'm weird. I'm not joyed anymore. I'm scared. Okay. Ow.
Okay. Was I not supposed to leave that fight? Oh, the crow is gone. Don't know what I was expecting. Really don't. Alright, other way then. What's going on this side? One open. One budge. Can't get this thing to move. I can't move. I, I can't what? By the joy masks and a black sun in front of it's my house. What? Well then, guess we uh, get over there. It's gonna be fine. Hello, sirs. You guys, um, enjoying yourselves? I hope. Can I go this way? I. Pain and trauma may always have a place in life. In fact, I'd say it's something that shouldn't be separated from us, even if you had a choice. Runs the risk of killing greatness. But understand, child. I can't have you tainting my bloodline with your insecurity anymore. There's a difference between what can make us and what can break us. Pushing the body and minds to grow beyond its perceived limitations. Or lashing out at those weaker than you to satiate some type of selfish indulgence. Well, he resents me for sure, in the same way that he resents you. But he won't be in vain. Men don't need toys. Men shape the future. And I'll make sure his pain will be a worthy sacrifice. His pain. It'll make him stronger, tougher, more resilient, more grateful, more powerful. The benefits are endless. Frankly, I'll make sure to give in all the tools you lacked. Wisdom. That, against my will, skipped a generation. I'll bear that mistake, but I won't allow it again. The boy is coming with me, Marty. Whether you like it or not, I will right your wrongs. I will teach him the art strong way. Is that Grandpa Armstrong? Oh, god damn it. I mean, I did receive a comment in one of my videos. Is it was on the Lisa on the Lisa on the Lisa video? Someone commented that um, I kept I kept saying that Brad's door was locked because Brad was probably inside and and stuff. No. Actually, what happened was that Grandpa Grandpa Armstrong managed to rescue Brad out of Marty's house and decided to take care of him. But for some reason, he didn't do it to Lisa. He left Lisa with with, with Marty. There's Marty in a flashy house. the same sequence. He didn't say anything. It's literally the same sequence. It's locked like always. Wait. What? 
That's my ho my home my room. I don't like that. Oh. Okay. Okay. He. He. Hey. Come. Let me do one thing that I forgot. Hold on. Don't be shy now. But calm, rest. Gotta say things. Now then. I understand. You aren't a boy anymore. Brain. Full. Of nonsense. I'm on to you. Wanna... Leave this stinky, dark cave we call home. See the world, Mr. Big Shot, Big Shot, cute, very cute, stand up for yourself, all of a sudden, the world is a lot worse than a couple of bullies, shithead. It's a sick fucking place. Foolish, baby. Soft little baby. You be ripped apart. Limb by limb. Like Picking flowers. Nope. Miserable old fuck. I'm always right. That glory hound. What the hell does he know? Only thing that worn out. Old punching bag has done is filled your shit head with fantasies. Fucker. You should be more grateful. Growing up so fast. So mature for your age. You and your sister. Thanks to me. Listen, kid, your mom already left me. It broke my filthy damn heart. If you left too. I wouldn't know what to do with myself. Really. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta? You gotta. You gotta? Think of a bold man, a poor old man. Blah. Please. 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 Hey.
Yes. Tell you what. I'm listening. It, I know it's difficult when it's the first time you're thinking of something. It, it kind of hurts. Kind of take it slow. Don't, don't, don't worry. It, it may get fumigating a little bit. Just um, take your time. Take your time. Just don't make this this recording too long. It's longer than I'm making. You stick around. I'll live and buy you a new shirt. You've earned it. Yeah, you done? No, he's done. Dear God. Can't go down anymore. Can't go back in. What is that? Oh. Oh. Don't do that. Oh. Stop doing that. Can I do something to you? It's just... Oh, it's bottles. Bottles of bottles and bottles. And pink ponchos. And the roots that is shaped like a hand. Oh. Took me a while. Okay. Yeah, okay. I... Took me a while. It's a root shaped like a hand that is constantly pointing at bread. It is another root that is shaped like a body with a long arm. And the parts of the body has a white little poncho with a necklace, probably with a heart on the necklace. The head is covered by dirt with a white little flower on top. And the hand is constantly pulling on a rope that is tied to something that is covered by the dirt. By the dirt. Yeah, I'm done. I can't leave. What did I do? It open. It open. The door open. Bradley. Why, why are you looking up? My boy. Hey, Marty. Oh, it's that thing from Lisa. Bradley. Look what you've done to me. Look what you did to your poor old dad. You need to be taught a lesson. Worthless son. Soft to the bone. But I haven't given up. I'm finally gonna teach you right this time. Brad rallies his party for a tough fight. Oh. Nice. So I'm gonna bring Terry, gonna bring Nern, and I'm gonna bring Golly. Birdie, birdie. No, not Gart, birdie. And yeah, finish. What will you do? 
Uh, open the pause menu. Can't, so can't save. Everyone is fully healed. I can give potato liquor to Buddy. What will you do? Start an assault. Your party advances across the Chrism Sea towards the mound. Marty summons Blood Shadows to slow your advance. Blood Shadows? You brought friends this time. Good. I've been so lonely. Let's show them your favorite game. Blood for sex? Excuse you? Okay, maybe I should have brought a different party, but now I'm kind of stuck with this. Blood Shadow. Oh wait! Red Armstrong, Terry Hint, Nern Guan, Birdie Hall. Blood for... What are you going on with this? What are you trying to say? What happens if I kill Brad? Just blind. Nice little crit. Buddy Hall doesn't want to do this. Buddy Hall doesn't attack. Is crying. I just focus. It's a lot faster if I focus. One is dead. down, okay. Um, just attack. Just shoot, just swig. I might be dead. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> nice attack, Terry. Wait, Buddy is attacking, what the heck? 
What the heck, buddy? You can just attack people, you're not supposed to do that. One of each item, actually, of basic healing items. Your body reaches the foothills of the mounds and begins to climb. Marty unleashes a defensive guard. Climb up, climb on up, boys. Daddy needs to feed. Okay, Marty Spiders. Because of course. Whoa. Drains a little blood, just a little bit. It isn't healing with the blood, it's just doing damage. It isn't that bad. Really spit. There is a lot of spiders though. This probably would would have been a lot quicker if I actually brought a, um, a different team. Because I, I thought it would just be Marty, I didn't think it would be all of this. I got literally bamboozled. I mean, the, the big setups that you've got to fight Marty, come on. Two down. Paralysis. Oh, three, oh, almost all down. Fine, right, about it is. Two days of fire bombs, one fire bomb. Some more healing items. Great. Your party approaches the summit. Marty hungers for your arrival. He hungers. Dear God, look at that. Oh, polyps. Bradley. You did it! Thank you so much for being in Den, my boy. I could smell them the whole time. I can finally taste them. You see? We could make such a good team. A real father and son. True Armstrong, dammit! Why would you ever want to run from that? Cause you suck, you suck eggs. You suck eggs, dude. Did you know you suck eggs? <laughs> Shut up. Uh, it's cause technique with birdie. Birdie, keep on swinging, swinging. Birdie, actually, birdie, gonna use a fire bomb.
Ooh, calcified. That's new. By the sack. Manifestation of Marty. Huh. On TNT. Wonder what happens when they're calcified like this. They don't take a lot of damage, you see. What the fuck? And you just keep on healing. Okay. Now Bradley can continue doing home run. Um, firebomb? A oh, horse jerky. Nice. One is down. Ooh. You got some nourishing sack fluid. Use it from the boss main when outside of battle. What do you mean? Red does home run. Norn uses a firebomb, sure. And Birdie is gonna use. Uh, what is it? The fancy one. Two down. Why do you mean nourishing sack fluid? Expecting me to die or something? Who do you think I am? Oh dear god, look at this health. At least I can see it. Consume something? Whoa. Uh, powers, discuss, no, topics. Discuss technique with birdie. Birdie, secret stash. And this is why I have birdie for the juice. Mighty stinky. You can do that. Uh, creamy Coca-Cola Cola on self. You're gonna... Finger bean. Can you kill the sack? Can you kill the sack? No, birdie, gonna keep on swigging. Birdie. Birdie. Oh. Okay. Okay. One down. One down. Your party member has been consumed. Receive a flower petal. Finally. He's mine. Now then, go away. Leave. Let me die in peace. Unless... You want me to taste more. Oh, my son. Sure. Have you really come back to me? Beat with me, my boy. Not calcified anymore. This means I can run for the fight? Is that it? I 
I should have healed. Yeah, I can run. Okay, if I can run from the fight, what does that mean? Hmm. Just like my girls. But I don't think you're clever. You can't run forever. <laughs> what will you do? House menu. Item. Nourishing sack fluids. Boost experience for lower level party members. Also restores all HP on SP. Ah. So the next bit of the Marty secret fight is a lot of repetition. Uh, this fight is extremely long. It is just on recording. It's almost an hour and a half. Just recording this fight. It is super long. Is incredibly repetitive. So hopefully I don't mind if I mostly focus on some things that I learned while doing this fight. And what is like the general strategy that I took? while going through it. The fight is always going to be three waves. Oh. Uh, every time you go back to heal your party, to change a party member or something, you're going to do the three waves. You're going to do first the shades, then you're going to do the spiders, then you're going to fight Martin himself. But every time you defeat the shades and the spiders, you're always going to get a lot of items. You're going to get like healing items, you're going to get a, a lot of revives. Sometimes you get bombs as well, which is super useful. And Marty will always try to kill one of her characters. Like it happens around like five, six, maybe four turns. I didn't really keep count. And it always going to be at random. Uh, there is a hidden aggro table uh, that sometimes when you go and, and search characters on, on the wiki, you sometimes hear about this hidden aggro table. Like for example, uh, Crisp. Crisp has the highest aggro in the whole game. Like, usually you see... All, when you have Crisp on the party, you're gonna see all enemies just targeting damage on him. And he's super frail. He doesn't have a lot of health. He doesn't dodge very well. So yeah, that is a hidden aggro table. So depending on some of the characters you bring, they're probably gonna be the one getting targeted the most. And... As you progress through the fights, as you lose party members, as Marty himself starts losing health, the fight is gonna change. The shades, they're gonna get some new skills, like they're gonna be able to prevent your characters from doing actions for uh, for one turn, one character at a time. Uh, they get a new skill where they will reflect damage. And it is like any damage that you do, like if you do a hundred damage to, to the shades that has the skill open, uh, when the turn is over, they're gonna do like a thousand or two thousand damage back to the character that they are um, a shade of. And at some point, more towards the end, the shades are gonna get the suicide uh, bomb skill. Well, like, for example, if you defeat Brad Shade, um, if you are at this point of the fight, he's gonna have this hidden skill where he just suicide bombs on Brad and just kills him on a, on a single hit. It's kind of annoying. Hopefully, you get a lot of revive items, so it's, it's not that great. But you're gonna get to the next part of the fight with one dead character that you can do anything about. The spiders as well. Uh, as, you, as the fight progresses, uh, the spiders are slowly gonna start becoming the party members that you lose to Marty if you decide to like let yourself lose some party members to Marty. They don't get any extra skills, they are just the same spiders. They do bleeds, they do poison, they do probably do something else. But you also get in an extra an extra mob during the spot fight, the spider fight. If you play Lizard the First, you, or if you watch someone playing Lizard the First, you probably know who this mob is. Bradley. This is different. <laughs> Don't you know? J 
just how much I loved you. Is that a little bit different? And Marty himself, when he gets to half a health bar, he starts with a new behavior where um, he transforms and starts a new behavior where he starts taking away your stats. Like at the end of every turn, he's gonna take like 20 points of SP or 2 points of luck, 2 points of speed, 2 points of special defense or special attack. He always takes away some of your status. And this for both the people in your party and the people who are in the deserve. I didn't find this too threatening though, it didn't affect much of anything. I never seen him taking away TP, thankfully. But I guess I, I was just too overleveled, so I'm like level 34, 33, 35 doing these fights, which is kind of overleveled for this game. So this didn't affect me much, probably if you are on a lower level it's gonna be a bit more difficult. So for the general strategy that I got for this fight, this is what I'm gonna focus. As I said, this fight is kind of long. I'm gonna focus on some more important points. What you wanna try to do most of the time is always have someone that does dedicated AoE damage. People like Fly is super useful because Fly only does AoE, Shock Lord as well. Pretty much Shock Lord only has one attack, where he just face plants and does AoE damage to everybody. Kind of misses a lot. Doesn't miss as much as fly normal attack. Uh, don't bring Fardy. Fardy has a very strong AoE skill, which is the Truck Slam. But he misses a lot, he's also depressed. So he's, Fardy is not very good at this fight. Uh, at some point, Try to bring someone that does a lot of dedicated single uh, target damage. A uh, Crisp, even though Crisp has a very high aggro through the whole game, um, he has one skill where he inflicts oil. He can inflict some on Farty and on the extra mob on the spider fight. And the other skill that just does fire damage, so Crisp is very useful in this fight. Carp as well. Harp does a lot of damage to the spiders, a lot of damage to the shades. Uh, just don't use Carp's um, one of his skills that does like a, a lot of attacks on Marty because for some reason that always does zero damage for me. I don't know why. Ollie as well. Ollie, you have some very high TP management for Ollie. He doesn't get a lot of TP. His skills are very expensive, but he does a lot of AoE damage as well. If you can pull it off. Jack as well is super useful for this fight. And if you want to try to save your party members from RT, you can always try to leave around like 4 turns, 5 turns if you're lucky, if you want to push yourself a little bit. Just know that leaving after every 4 turns, you're just gonna make the fight take longer. I didn't care about that. I just wanted the fight to end. This is kind of why I lost a few people. And when you're doing the mob, the spider fight with the extra mob. Focus on doing damage to the extra mob, if you can. Like, always have the AoE character doing fa damage to everybody. But everybody else doing damage to the extra mob because he does a lot of status. He heals the spiders, he buffs the spiders, he revives the spiders. The spiders are always gonna come back at, at full health. It is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. And you... The fight will only end when every single spider is dead. He will kill himself if he, he is alone in the field, but he won't die to damage. He will just get disabled for like three turns, three, four turns or something. So yeah, it's a, big, it's a bit of a long fight. I'm gonna show some highlights on this thing and just try your best, have some patience. Also, something that I forgot. Uh, every time someone dies in your party, every time Marty takes away someone, they're gonna leave behind their equipment. So don't forget, when you have to run for one reason or another, or when you want to run for some reason or another, don't forget to use the spider sacks to bring people to uh, Brad's level, or even to heal, if you don't have anyone else to bring people, it's always a full heal. 
HP and SP, not TP though, which is a shame. And change people's equipment. Because for instance, if you lost um, if I lost Terry, like I did, I always made sure that Terry has some good equipment because he's super strong in the game. If I lost Terry, well, he left his things behind, so just use it on everybody. And if someone has an idea of what the Battle Item does, I wouldn't mind the information because I, I don't know what it does. I used a few times on the fight, I used a few times on the Shades, on the Spiders, on Martin himself, and he never did anything. So if someone knows what they do, just you can tell me. I don't mind. Okay, so this is the fifth turn, and I know that either Fly or Rage are gonna get taken by him. Because Fly did a lot of damage, Rage did the second most damage, Ollie needs SP, and I don't have anything that recovers SP. And he never takes spreads, because obvious reasons. So he's either taking Fly who did the most damage, or Rage that did the second most. He's taking... Holly. Okay, it's random. It's random, the ones he takes. It, do it doesn't really care. Never mind then. Still said he take he took um Harry Hints. Final four thousand points of damage. He's taking a thousand and five hundred give and take of damage per turn. Yeah, he's dead in two turns. This is going to be the last turn of combat, so as long as everyone hits. There we go. That is a long fight. It's not over, is it? By the way, I, I guess this shows, um, this is on Unity, the previous Lisa, uh, Lisa, Lisa the first, Lisa the joyful, Lisa the painful, they were all on RPG Maker. This is on Unity, and I guess this is the clearest sign that uh, this whole sequence is on Unity. Like just Marty and the things that you see going around, it is from hard to impossible to do it on RPG Maker. I guess with the versions that you have today, you can do something similar to this, but not this. Maybe Wolf. Maybe Wolf, you can do something like this. I don't know. I'm, I never made a game. Why? Why do you insist on hurting me? Damn it, Bradley. It's been two hours and a half. I forgot the voice I gave. I don't think I gave a voice. Damn it, Bradley. You've become so stubborn. This isn't us. It's not what men do. So why fight me? I know you're tired. All this anger, these memories, so many scars, so many mistakes. It stings. So let it all go. You don't deserve it. That guilt is gonna kill you. Why can't you just let it go? Be a man. When they hand you their hearts, you don't bear yours. You eat it. Consume everything. Puke it up, then eat it again. Eat it like a dog. It's easy, Brad. You know it only takes one taste. You know better than me. It's so fucking easy. And if you never stop, it feels so good.
ready to stop. If you do this, it's over. Dead. You know what happens. We can't let it out. She... She's gonna hurt you. I'm tired. She's gonna hurt us so bad. I can't. We. We can't handle that, Brad. It's too painful. I'm not ready. We'll never be ready. Don't fight blood. Please. I'm fucking scared. I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't. Mom. Mommy? What's going on? Wait, what? I need you. This isn't Marty anymore, is it? Stop! I didn't... It's a truck down experience. I'm the fucking coolest. Just to wait, Brad. And I hope get everyone back. That this was actually just a dream. Oh, there is a tiny Bradley. I'm controlling him. I... Huh. Maybe I could have seen something. My bad. I wanted to check the giant... Mush of Marty. Bradley. Going down. It's... Cut. <laughs> it's over. She drifts. Further and further away. Like a ghost. Leaking into his flesh, refusing to obey. Words can go no longer. Word, what? Words can no longer suffice. Nothing more you can say. Face what's in your heart. I'm waiting. Deep beneath the decay. Can go no longer. Where did I come from? I'm lost. But I'm not gone. I was never gone. And I will never go. I will be seen. No friends, no brothers, no fathers, no mothers. Just me. Fly is free of boy. Jesus fucking Christ, Fly. Congratulations, dude. Like. Oh my god, now go fuck yourself. Many sought refuge. I let them all in. Thousands of voices breaking beneath my skin. As a drowning fire, I can't help but grin. Knowing that silence was my gravest sin. That has seen me for who I am. For who I never got the chance to be. For whom no man could never ever see. No friends, no brothers, no fathers, no mothers. Just me. Mm -hmm. 
deep below. A dark, endless sea. A pain slumbers. One will never flee. Give me the strength. Let your memory set us free. So that when next we meet. So that when next we meet. I may grow into a mighty tree. No friends, no brothers, no fathers, no mothers. Just me. I know this wasn't easy. Thank you. And Bradley? Good luck. I started to think this is another one of those situations where I'm supposed to go up and not down. Yet here I am, being stubborn, holding a button. Because I had one thing where I was going up and it didn't change anything. So I decided to go down and actually changed and now I'm going down. And nothing is changing. So maybe I should go up. Oh, I can't. I can't go up. Oh, I can, I can quit. Oh, but it is changing. The background at least is going up. Also, this is the same red stars. On okay, on one scene, extra scene for the definitive edition. It is a scene where Brad stops to talk with Terry Hints, actually asking for some advice about his life and stuff. The scene, the scene ends with the camera panning towards the sky. And the sky is full of red stars. And I don't know why. I didn't bother to search. I didn't bother to, to look for it. I guess it's just symbolism. But maybe the game would give me something. And I don't mind if it doesn't. I'm not saying that it should. I just saying that it happens. It is there. You can go and check. And it's also a very good scene. It makes me wonder, actually. The first choice that you have with Buzo in the beginning, he asks if you are willing to part with your items or if you want to give your one and only ally to that point. So that ally is Terry. If you give Terry, I mean, if you give it later on with your allies, you actually lose them. He also lose Terry, but he doesn't die. Something far worse happens. 
I wonder what happens to Terry on the definitive edition. When you are selfish. Do you think you have to hurt yourself? Do you think you deserve to hurt? In a way, yes. Because of what happens? Please. Should you hurt because of who you are? I don't know. I don't know who I am anymore. I feel that inside. And I know you do too. You can't hide it either. I don't have any purpose. Not like I ever did. Now I just hate everything, so why bother? What about Grandpa? Karate seems fun. I just wish he would let girls join. No, trust me. Karate is stupid. This is Brad and Lisa talking. I hate fighting. Actually, I'm thinking of running away. What? To where? I don't care. Anywhere. Just not here, trapped in this house with you. I... I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. It's okay. I know what you meant. It's tough, I know. I'm worried about you. I'll be fine. The way you've been acting lately, you're really different now. I can tell you want to go. And... I'm jealous. It's something I've always dreamed about. Don't worry. I won't let you get in your way. If, before you leave, you make me a promise. Why? A blood promise. What? How is something creepy with you? It's not creepy at all. We are born by blood. So it's not weird, it's family. It's weird. A kid your age shouldn't think about something like that. Shut up. Just listen to me for us. You owe me. Take this. And promise to keep it safe. Forever. You're joking. No? Also be very careful, it's fragile. It's already dead. I didn't say keep it alive, I said keep it safe. This is stupid. You said it didn't have a purpose, now you do. So this is a joke. If it was a joke, you would be laughing. Protecting this is my purpose? This is dumb. That makes me feel worse. I don't care how you feel about it, that's what I want. No matter how bad it gets, they could care of it. Now promise me. Whatever. Good enough. I know you won't let me down. Well, what about you? Anything you want me to promise? What? Why? If you really are going to leave, then I might not see you again. You should promise me something. I didn't know we had to exchange promises. I don't get your little, ga your little games. I just need to know if you're going to be okay.
Are you? I'm hanging in there. Good. Hey. Yeah? We never talk about what happened that day. Lisa, I can't. It's fine. That's not why I'm bringing it up, but... You remember why he got punished? Wait. It's... different. So, on, on the top is... I thought on the bottom was Brad. On the top was Lisa. No, on the top is Lisa. No, on the bottom is Lisa, on the top is Brad. So Lisa is the one asking to make a blood promise and Brad is the one running away. Lisa is the one interested in karate and Brad isn't. Huh. I think. Never got it wrong, but you understand. I hope. I try not to think about it. One time those police speech were bad. But your face are really bad. We didn't want Dad to find out, so we stole Mom's makeup. <laughs> we tried to hide your wounds, but it did such a bad job. I made your whole face bright pink. It didn't match your skin at all. I even put lipstick on you, <laughs> which made it only worse. Oh my gosh, it was so funny. You had such a huge grin on your face. Never seen a smile that big. Even started dancing. <laughs> Shut up. No. That was the most fun I ever had. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah. More fun than tea time. Mm-hmm. You wanna know a secret? I didn't care if Dad saw me beat up. That was just an excuse to play with mom's stuff. <laughs> that was the last day we ever spoke. The last chance I had to, to, to hold you. What's happening this way? I can't even go there. You know, I wish they removed the withdrawal effects. At least for one scene. Whoa! He learned! Finally! Finally learned to use his toes to climb the garden rope. My man, do be quick. Look at that. Oh, I'm back here. Oh, hey, motherfucker. Bradley. My boy. It's just not that easy. You can't save her. You can't even save yourself. After all, I'm in your 
veins. Am I awake? If this balloon was in here, it would walk off this cliff and die. This balloon just saved your life. Yeah, this is the very beginning of the game. Where am I, Terry? Is that it? All those people, yeah, they're gone. I guess more than this, the game just continues as it was. Do I finish the game now? No. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? So that's gonna be it. <laughs> I am um, gonna admit, I don't really wanna do the whole fight again. It was very long. I'm probably gonna do it faster now that I know how to do the fight. And how to properly uh, do damage and how to do things, but it's the whole sequence of things going here and there. I'm gonna do it later, later, later on in the future, but right now, I'm just angry. <laughs> I threw myself in a hole and I didn't save. Come on, how, how do you make how do you think I feel? God damn it. I did check and recheck. I mean, I saw after I thought I threw myself. I spent another twenty minutes, half an hour. Don't even I don't even care how much time I did checking a lot of live streams, a lot of VODs, a lot of videos, a lot of stories, a lot of things to see if there is actually a new, different ending, cutscene, scene, something, whatever. I think for me, there's not going to be one because of the whole joyless run joyless run on pain modes that seems to like fixes your ending i don't think i i can show anything different if there is something different from the ending after finishing the uh, big marty boss fight the nightmare uh marty boss fight brad's nightmare as people have been calling it do let me know do let me know if there is something different because I want to know as well. Just, n I'm not going to do it at the moment because fuck it. And yeah, if I did everything right, you're going to be seeing the Lisa, the Joyful, Definitive Edition ending, Tingamabob, Tingalong, on the little square right now, but in a few seconds. And yeah. This is the part that I ask for YouTube formalities, you know how it is, like, if you like this video, you can like it, if you want to see whenever I'm doing something, I'm focusing more on live streaming, which I know it isn't something for everybody, but I always leave the VOD behind. Um, yeah, see you on the next video, goodbye.